Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Magic Man. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Iron Mike Tyson. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, so here he is, formerly the baddest man on the planet, former boxing heavyweight champion, Iron Mike Tyson. Look for him to move forward. You know the flurries are coming. He'll employ that signature peekaboo style as he tries to get inside. Takedown defense could be tested. I mean, that's what opponents are going to be looking to do. They're going to try to take Mike Tyson down. Easier said than done. Don't blink or you'll miss this fight. Oh, looked like he got tagged a couple times there up top. You see, he's trying to get the timing down to set up that counter, but just misses there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Another one. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this, gentlemen. This man is stringing four or five, six in a row. What a great job. Oh, nice jab to the head there by Tyson. Well, this striker has come out swinging early, and you know his style is based on aggression, and largely it's worked out for him tonight. It's worked out phenomenal to this point. He's fighting, he's fighting exactly as he needs to if he wants to win this fight. And he lands the hook. Another clinch position. Look for a level change as he tries to secure a takedown. Connected with a solid strike there. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches there. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Looking to land the right just out of range. Tyson strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. And just inches away from landing one of those big... Oh! He's hurt. Big right hand there. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Let's go. Pop that jab out there. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Lands that beautiful jab. Back to the jab now, no good. What a beautiful body kick. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Tyson gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Everything's landing perfect. Keep that pressure going. Under two minutes now to go in the opening round. Oh, roundhouse kick. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Fighter lands a left punch, nicely done. He's got to throw that kick behind those punches. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Big right hand. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Under a minute now to go in the round. Big power shot there. I don't know how many times he can get hit in the head and stay in this fight. Throws the teeth. Checks that leg kick. Lands a nice straight. 
So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Targeting the body with the kick now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh. Second round, straight ahead. Oh. Stop, stop, stop. Great job that round. That was target practice for you. Your striking looks amazing. You almost had him down last time. Now let's go out there, let's keep the pressure on. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? You ready. Second round here. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. That shot blocked by Tyson. Oh! Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Connects now with the one-two. And that one certainly found the target. Nice leg kick. I am starting to lose track of how many punches this guy has landed to the head of his opponent. Great commitment to the kicking game. Oh, nice. Man, that left hand is money in the bank tonight. Guess the single collar tie now. Jab gets the attention of his opponent. He's found his range. Now he's in a rhythm landing those nice, beautiful punches. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Just over three minutes to go. Big shot to the head. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Clean with the right hook. There's another one. Looks like the cut man to my right is starting to get anxious with all the high volume of strikes. Oh, got to keep pressing here. He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Got the hook in quickly. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Moving to his left now. Under 90 seconds to go. He's got that single collar tie. Hook to the head, lands flush there by Tyson. And follows up with another one. Throwing that jab, no good. 
look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Nice punch to the head. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't need too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Oh, big left hook there. Nice straight right lands. Well, you can see his leg is hurt here, starting to limp a little bit. I think Magomed Ankalaev is the guy we point to for exuding all of that toughness when he absorbed those leg kicks, but don't want to take too many more of those. But like Magomed, you want to try to get takedowns. You cannot be on your feet limping and turning away from strikes. You got to try and change something. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Final seconds here. Upstairs, gets a foot to the target, high kick lands. Great job. Five minutes to victory. Keep doing what you're doing. Remember those sprint drills we did in the gym? This is exactly why. I want you to go out there with a high kick. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready? You ready? Go. And we are back for our third and final round. All right, next round is now under control. Oh, no, the to land right there. His opponent's wobble chair. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. They're so evenly matched here. Go and tip the tap. Nice block. Tyson's got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. Man, his jab is good. There it is. Oh, a huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Gets to the single collar tie. So some hook shots to the body here in the clinch now by Tyson. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round, and picking up exactly where he left off. Just out of range with that strike. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Hook to the head there by Tyson. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Some visible damage on the side, underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. 
He's done a oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Fighter separate from the clinch now. Push kick there to the body. There it is, take shot now. Take shot, there it is. All right, well, oh, he's in trouble. That one snuck in. Nice strike. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He's taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. And doing work with the jab. Under a minute now to go in the fight. Uppercut to the head. His misses are out of Nice hook lands. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Straight right is there. Which kick lands? We need the takedown. Pretty strong jab there by Tyson. Oh, huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, oh, oh. that will finish the fight. All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Iron! So Iron Mike Tyson getting it done in the UFC yet again. I know a lot of people had some pause when he transitioned from boxing to mixed martial arts, but the proof is in the